There was a moment when we signed a player at Manchester United. It was the only time it ever happened was when we signed David May from Blackburn and he was seen as a right-back stroke centre-back and I thought, oh, that's because the manager doesn't fancy me. And I felt a little bit sick in my stomach thinking that I was going to be replaced. Was there ever a moment that Liverpool signed a player and you thought, I'm going to struggle here, he wants me out? Yeah, that, that happened to me most seasons. <laughs> no, seriously, it did. It was it, Up until I got to the age of 25, 26, did it stop happening because I played a, a full-back and I wasn't, a, I wasn't a, seen as a full-back, I was always seen as a stopgap full-back. But more often than not, I would still play ahead of, of the recognised full-back who they'd brought in. So initially, I think it was uh, John Anarisa came in after I'd played left-back for a season. We, we, uh, we won three trophies that season, but he brought John Anarisa in. A couple of seasons later, it was uh, Steve Finnan. I was playing right-back then. Risa was left back, Steve Finnan came in. And it was funny in that Rafa Benitez then came into the club and his first signing was a right back. And I'd finished the season right back under Gerard Hulier. But I'm, I must be honest, when Rafa Benitez's first signing was a right back and he didn't really know me as a player so much, I wouldn't say it knocked me, con it was always like, oh, I've had enough of this. You know, it was almost this constant fight of trying to prove myself better than X, Y, or Z who came in. And it should be like that at a top club, but it just felt how I did a little bit more. You said about sort of David May, then you obviously established yourself yeah. as right back. I mean, who else came in at a different stage? Maybe the latter end of your career, you think, I'm done. It was Raphael coming through. That was probably the only time that the manager signed a full-back where I thought that was a direct challenge, but it was obviously a young player. Obviously, I'd seen them coming through. They, that was the time where I thought, and it was actually watching them in training towards the end that made me think, I'm way off this. I'm absolutely miles away. It was either Wes Brown or John O'Shea, but I felt like we were part of a squad and a team. So when Wes took my position when I got injured in 2008 and had an unbelievable season, Wes, he was brilliant at right back that season. I actually don't think I could have played as well as Wes did that season, the way he played. He was unbelievable. By then, I was established. I was 32. I was comfortable. I didn't, re I didn't really feel threatened by anyone. I, I wanted us to be really good and continue winning. But it was Raphael towards the end.